I've heard that horses will run back into a burning barn, and is that true? It is true, but why they do it, we really don't fully understand. Part of it has to be that it's their safety place. If you spend 16, 18, 24 hours in a stall, which is not what we would prefer that you do, but if that happens, then they associate quickly with feeding and being parts of their, their buddies are there, and that's their safety place. That's where they don't get ridden. That's where nobody messes with them. Other pieces of the puzzle probably include things like the herd instinct. We know from some of our practice ses sessions with actual barns and actual horses that when you release the first few horses, the other ones that are in the barn get stressed. They feel stress and fear. And the released horses often turn return to investigate what's going on, and that's in fake barn fires with fake smoke. So I'm sure that it happens under real conditions for similar reasons. We know that trained horses that have been trained to run out of the barn don't return to the barn because they learn a cue and they've done it before and they understand the pattern that you give them the cue. They respond by running out of the barn to a safe place, maybe a paddock or a pasture, and they know the rest are coming. Um, but again, that has to be trained. Um, when we talk about herding and the herd instinct, that's really dangerous for first responders because they are trying to help deal with the barn fire as well as the horses, as well as panic persons. And they may not have a lot of expertise in those three aspects other than the firefighting. Um, so it can get really dangerous for first responders that are trying to help animals having animals coming back and forth into the barn, uh, checking on each other, running, etc. You can see a lot of that in the video below. We're sending you the link. Thus, um, it really comes down to having a planned evacuation. You've got to start at one end of the barn. You've got to go to the other end of the barn in an organized manner and chase horses out. You've got to have a controlled system of exits and entrances and gates to gather the animals away from the barn in preferably a large paddock or pasture. Then you've got to be able to close those gates so that they don't come back to the barn so you can deal with the barn fire. Secondary fencing is also important because if they get out into the barnyard and there's no fencing, they will run to the road and then get hit by the fire truck or strange people that are showing up to try to help. And of course, everything's going to be panicked due to strange smells, st strange sounds. Um, it really takes practice. Horses can learn cues fast to send them out of a barn en masse to a safe pasture. Um, however, we do know that it can cause injuries. Uh, practicing this doesn't happen very often in most barns because you're turning out horses together that might not go out together regularly and it can cause injuries. And that's probably why people don't practice. Just a few minutes of watching this video is going to be an eye-opener for all of you. It's viral. It went out after the San Luis Rey fire in 2017. However, I encourage you to look at this link a little closer. There's over 400 horses running loose that they've released because there's fire brands that are landing from a wildfire two miles away and have lit up the barns. Um, 46 horses died during this incident either from their injuries or they were euthanized afterwards. There were several people that were severely injured or burned uh, trying to save horses. Uh, they were trying to load and lead horses. You can see some of these things in this video and imagine what it's like to pull up and be a firefighter that has no idea how to catch a loose horse. Uh, they have no idea that a horse can actually run you over and they're trying to evade the loose horses and panic people trying to save them. That's a really dangerous situation, and that's why we encourage people to have a plan, do a practice of whatever your plan will be, write it down, ensure that everyone on your team, on your farm, knows what the plan is. Because when you do those things, that's when you're actually making a difference for your horses and for the people that work with you and for you, in how to respond to an actual bonfire. Thank you.